Hey, what's up guys? It's Covert Code here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the top 5 tips to become a better Roblox developer. So the first tip is to always keep learning. And this is a key thing to succeed in life. You never know enough, okay? There's always something new to learn, and that especially uh, applies to Roblox. Because there's always things uh, which are new that are coming out that you don't know about or just simply stuff that you don't know about which you can be using to make your games better. So just keep that in mind and always, always try and learn new things. The second tip is to always plan your games ahead. And this is especially beneficial to those people who just make a game and just give up at the start. That usually happens because you don't really know what you need to do um, long term to make your game a reality. And using tools such as Trello or Notion or any other uh, planning tool really helps you out with really visualizing what you need to make your game, again, a reality. And it also allows you to see if you need to hire people or if you need help. So if you see that your game is um, 3D modeling intensive and you don't know how to 3D model, then obviously you're going to need to get someone to do that for you. The third tip is to interact with other developers. Now, why is this important? It allows you to form connections within the developer community. It allows you to become a better known developer. And if you need anything, you can always contact the people that you know. And this also opens up a bunch of new doors for you guys. So if you know a developer who's really good at scripting and you're not good at scripting, you can work together to make a game and hopefully that game will succeed. Which brings me to my point. Right, so if you didn't know that someone, if you hadn't had that connection, you would have never made that game. And that just really highlights how important it is as a Roblox developer to interact with other developers, bounce around ideas, help each other out, um, and just, you know, just embrace the Roblox developer lifestyle. The fourth tip is to not do everything yourself or not try to do everything yourself, okay? So if you are not a good builder you shouldn't be building unless you're learning okay like if you want to make a really good game um you should definitely get someone to help you out with that so imagine you're a really good scripter okay but you're a bad builder and that's okay um if you want to make a really good game um uh, the chances are it's going to require a lot of building a lot of good building and if you find yourself having completed everything you need to complete uh, with regards to scripting for your game, and then you actually need to come around to building, um, you're probably going to find that pretty difficult to, to you know, produce something which really uh, sticks out and looks good. And that might cause you to give up on your game. You know, if you can't really complete the building, you can't release the game. So you give up. And that's happened to me before, which is why I actually learned how to build. So my tip to you guys is... If you don't know how to do something properly, okay, you should try it. But if you think that'll make you give up, um, get someone to help you out. And even if you do have to split the profits, 50% of something is better than 100% of nothing. Now, my fifth and final tip is to study successful games and note down why they are successful. So there are thousands of successful games on Roblox and... Your job as a Roblox developer is to scan for these games and analyze what makes them successful. Because at the end of the day, when you make your own games, you need to know what you need to have in your game to make it successful. And browsing Roblox and looking at the proven successful games um, and then noting down why they're successful will help you get a better picture illustrating what you need to have in your game. Because if you have no idea what needs to be in your game to make it popular and successful, then like you've already lost, you know, like you should know what needs to be in your game to make it successful if you want to have a successful game. So just always, always study successful games and note down the traits that make them successful to make your own games successful as well, hopefully. So that's all I had guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any suggestions about what videos I should make in the future, please leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys next time.